you know, I pretty much knew after my time here at Rolla that I wanted to focus on this, this intersection of what I would call social justice and engineering. Missouri S&T alumnus Gary White has spent his career finding innovative ways to bring clean drinking water to improve the health of about one million people in developing countries. For me, that, that aha moment was when I was in Guatemala, and uh, I took a side trip with the, the group to the slums in Guatemala City. It was just uh, unbelievable. I saw this one girl that was scooping up some water from this disgusting barrel uh, and carrying it back home for her family to drink and right through the sewage. White returned to Rolla to talk with students about how he turned his civil engineering educational experiences into wells and sanitation facilities for the world's poor. That really led me to, to, to figure out you know, what's going on with water and sanitation, why is this such a huge problem, and, and trying to figure out how I could take you know, my civil and environmental engineering degrees and, and attack the problem. In 2009, White teamed with actor Matt Damon to co-found the Kansas City-based nonprofit agency Water.org. With Water.org, we're trying to figure out new ways of, of getting things done. We're looking for ways not to just drill another well or develop another spring, but how do we really find game-changing ideas? So there's a billion people that don't have access to water, about 2.6 billion that don't have access to sanitation. And while we need charity, we need philanthropic capital, that's never going to be enough to, to get the problem solved. So what we've created is something we call water credit. And so instead of having a project for free gifted to them, they have the ability to take out a small loan to then solve their water problem on their own. They can now take out a loan for about $100 and get a water connection in their home. And they can take that time that they were spending scavenging for water and work at a paying job. Near the end of this year, or early next year, we'll pass the one million mark in terms of people that we've helped. My Rala education, I think, really taught me how to think as an engineer and think critically. And that was a huge contribution to water.org and always trying to find what's not just the, the okay way to get something done, but the optimal way. We still have three million people dying every year because of water-related illness. The fact that more people in the world have access to cell phones and toilets. We need to, within this country, uh, create a movement uh, to help address this, to, to drive more resources to it. So we're doing things with social media, you know, at my.water.org, people can come and, and follow a community. With at power.water.org, they can come and lend their voice, they can allow their uh, their Twitter status to be donated and, and retweet messages. Uh, so there's lots that can be done in terms of uh, that, that social media level and that personal engagement level to tackle this crisis.